I believe in the dash. Awesome, I like that. The dash means that finite moment between life's beginning and life end, that where you're actually doing something and impacting the space that you're living in. So it's a matter of understanding and capturing that dash both for yourself and for others as well. My name is Vincent Vassell. I am a retired Army veteran, portrait and wedding photographer here in the DMV area. I was raised in Brooklyn, so at 17 years old I had to figure out life. College was an option, but it wasn't the only option. So then I decided to join the military at 17, of course with parents' permission, and I'll tell you that's probably the best decision I've made. Throughout the military I've always had a camera, whether it was taking pictures of unit functions or just places that I've been to, as well as, you know, family of course. And then it developed into a more of a passion because I retired, so I needed something to do. You know, there's various styles that people enjoy. Light and airy, bright and airy, or high key. For me, I like to see depth in my photography. The DC area influences my art because one, the architecture. I'm fascinated by, you know, places like the Supreme Court, the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Memorial, and all the various little nooks and crannies that is available in DC. One thing that I love about DC is the culture. I could go to any museum and it's free for the most part. One of my favorite museums is the Portrait Gallery and the Portraiture Museum. I spend a lot of time there and kind of learn and kind of relax and enjoy the, the, the pieces that are in the, in the galleries. This was at a, a, a Buddhist monastery. And one of the things I love to do in my portraits is create a, a image with a dark background and with a well-lit subject the subject pops out. And of course with the red dress, she stands out even more. Difference between the light and the shadows and the, the red color against the black and of course the green of the grass kind of makes the image stand out in my opinion. Another thing that I love is maternity portraits. To me, that's life, that dash again, the beginning of the dash. I lit her in order for the same similar way to how I demonstrated where the light is at a 45 degree angle and her face is what you're drawn to first. And the flowiness of her dress gives it that motion. So you kind of look at it and you, for me, you make the image feel something like, okay, this is motherhood. So this one is a little bit different. Like again, I typically go for dark and moody. This one's kind of moody, but it's not dark. So in this case, I use a white background, something I typically don't do. And I had her cross her hands, and I wanted her to look down to show her power. And with her facial features and the shadows and the, how the light is hitting her face, and of course the bracelet, I thought it created a, a powerful image for her for her birthday. tips for aspiring photographers. I would say, first, manage your gear. You don't have to have the latest and greatest item. The best camera is the camera that you have. Got it. If all you have is your iPhone, master your iPhone. The second thing is invest in your craft. Go to conferences, go to YouTube University, has a plethora of information. Go to Street Meetup. Right here in DC is Portrait Meet DC. Awesome creative space for you to learn and the third thing I would say is practice makes progress. Just go out there and shoot, shoot every day, do your gear. The creativity will start to come once you start to have fun with it.